In this series of lectures, we'll explore our data visually using the ggalley package. ggalley is a great package that extends ggplot2. It not only is really useful, but it has great documentation, and I highly recommend visiting the website to learn more about what it can do. The main function that I use is ggpairs, and we can see that ggpairs is right here on the documentation page. So if we just click that, we can go right here to GG pairs and we can actually read about what it is. So it's a special form of this GG matrix, which is also another function that GG Alley has that produces a pairwise comparison of multivariate data. Um, by default, GG pairs provides two different comparisons of each pair of columns and displays either their density or count of the respective variable along the diagonal. With the different parameter settings, the diagonal can be replaced with the axis values in the variable levels. Okay, so here's a look at one of the um, GG Alley graphs here. And uh, we can see kind of what it's doing. So over the top, it has some of the features, and then down the side, it has some of the features. So it's basically a correlation type, a correlation style graph. Essentially, you have this, this feature at total bill is also this feature total bill, so tip and tip. So right down the diagonal is um, just basically showing the uh, proportions or the density of that feature. Then down the columns, um, it, what it does is it uh, compares the features in different ways. So for this particular feature, it's creating a scatter plot between total bill and tip. And what it does, or what it decides to do, is based on a logic. So, for example, total bill and tip are two continuous features, so it decides to create a scatter plot here down the column. Um, and we can see that the next one is uh, sex and total bill. So it's created two histograms here for, um, the, I'm assuming, the two levels of sex, which is probably male and female. The other thing I want to mention is as you go over the, uh, the top of the um, you know, row wise over the, 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 the top of the columns, um, you can see it's doing something a little bit different. So for tip and total bill, instead of doing a scatter plot, what it's doing is um, just giving the correlation between the two. Uh, for sex and um, total bill, it's, what it's doing is uh, creating two um, box plots so you can see kind of the difference between okay one sex um, so say this is male has a lower total bill than say female um, the uh, so, so it's basically um, create, giving you a different visualization the ones that I find most useful are the ones here on the top because this really shows me kind of um, uh, enough information, uh, especially with categorical data, to suggest um, you know what the uh, what you know if there's differences between those features that need to be investigated further. Um, the ones down the side, uh, for example, like this plot here, it just gets a little bit much to read. So I tend to like to focus on the top um, diagonal. Okay, so that's a little bit about GG Alley.